Hi, good afternoon everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, IT Online Class. So we are on the video series for JavaScript programs. So today we are going to see one program that is how to calculate a factorial of a number. Now this question we are going to solve that is find the factorial of a number on button click. So here the number given is seven. So we'll write a program that can calculate factorial of any number. So let's begin. So we'll start with Notepad++ and we'll make the structure for this question. So it starts with doc type HTML tag then your html tags which are the root element for your html web page then with the head section in head section we have open tag and close tag and then in body section body open and body close then we'll provide one title it's a factorial of a number let's save this file so I'm going to save this on under my folder and I'll give the file name as JS program 5.html. So we'll also add one script tag here because we are going to use a function to calculate the factorial. So this function we are going to put it in head section now in under body section we'll create one heading say calculate factorial of a number so what we are going to do is we are going to display one box using input tag and say enter number And we provide one ID to that box. So we say n num box as the ID for it. Then we'll provide one button that will calculate the factorial. That is that we call the function that is going to calculate the factorial. So we'll say input type equal to button and we will provide a face value for this button as calculate. Okay. So let's check out what is the output we are getting at present. So the JS program 5.h and this is the output so we will enter the number here and when the user clicks on calculate button it should calculate the factorial we will display the answer using an edit box or we can even display the answer next to the input box so both the ways i will show you so what we are going to write one function that is going to calculate your factorial the name of the function will also give factorial So first we'll create one variable called i that will be used for loop and num variable that will collect the number and the one variable called f that is used for storing the result of the factorial operation. So I think everyone must be knowing what you mean by a factorial. So if I ask the factorial of 5 it will be 5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 so it is 5 4 is a 20 23 is a 60 62 is a 120 so answer is 120 so this is fact Factorial of 5. So it's calculated by multiplying the numbers which are less than that numbers up to 1. 
So we'll be using loop to traverse to these numbers and then multiply, keep on multiplying the result with this numbers in the loop. So let's do this. So first we'll collect the number. We'll be using parseint function that will collect the integer from that box. Now to collect the value of this box, the id of the box is numbox. So we'll use this method document dot get element by id and in bracket we will write the name of the id that is numbox and we'll say dot value. Clear. So we are using parse and function. Under this parse and function, we are using document dot get element by id, and providing the id name in that bracket, and its value we are going to extract. So close the parse and function. Okay. Let's check out if this is working. So I'll just give an alert num whether num the value has been collected we are going to check so i'll just enter the value 25 and say calculate okay we have not given the call for this function so here in the input type equal to button we have to provide on click event that will clog that will call this function factorial so we'll call this function factorial like this okay say this and we'll refresh now we enter the number say 25 click calculate and here the number comes the page says 25 okay this the number is collected so we have checked our first statement whether it's working so just remove this alert box now we are going to calculate so we'll be using the loop for i equal to 1 i less than equal to num then the increment i plus plus okay and zoom it see what we are writing we are initializing the i value to one then we are giving the condition i should be less than equal to num because we are going to multiply the numbers to the result starting from one two and that number and we'll increment the value of i so your loop will be like this and f is our uh, variable that is going to store the result so f equal to 1 we'll initialize it with the value 1 and we'll start with f is equal to f multiply by i okay so this will go on multiplying i with f and the i value will run up to the num value so num whatever number we enter in. and then we are going to just uh, display the result say factorial is and we are going to print the f value so after the for loop ends just put this alert factorial is f so let's save this and see whether it works so we'll start with the file 5 and click on calculate and here we got the answer I can see this factorial is 120 okay so in this way we have calculated the factorial of a number using for loop method so you can take this brace up here also for for loop also you can brace is not even required also because we have this single statement in form so we we'll just give intention and reduce this piece also okay so this is the function for calculating factorial here we are not validating the number entered by the user if the user enters any non number value then it may give an error so what we are going to do will also initialize the num value to 1 okay. and we can also check whether user is 
entering a number. If it's not entering the number, it should not uh, calculate the factorial value. That uh, also we can do. So let's take an example. If the user is entering something A, B, C, and we click on calculate, so you give the answer factorial one because we have initialized num to one. Okay. If this initialization was not there, then num would not be get created, and it would fire an error. So this is a simple program that is calculating factorial of a number. You can take a screenshot of this and try it. Now in your question, it is given factorial of seven. So instead of reading that number, you can directly take the value num equal to seven and start. Writing the formula, so this will be also not required. Here we can also provide an initial value, say value is equal to seven, so to match our question. So when the user refreshes the page, the initial value is seven, and it will give the answer for seven. Factor is fifty forty. The user can also change the value, say twelve, and take factor here to calculate the factor from twelve. Okay, so this is the program to calculate factorial of any number. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.